Hey you guys, what's up? Ian here, or IP Media. And today, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make cover art within Photoshop, transfer it over to After Effects, and be able to add a little wiggle expression, maybe even a couple adjustment layers to everything, and then be able to get some really cool motion graphic cover art at the end of it. So, I'm going to show you guys how to mess with different layers in Photoshop. So we're going to start off by doing Control-J. Going into our quick selection tool. And for me, I'm going to mask the subject in the scene. I'm going to speed this up for you guys. Okay, cool. So once you get that done, you're going to go down here. Sorry. You're going to go down here and do layer masks. And you should get this, but we're going to hold down control, go up to our selection tool and do control T and we're going to kind of bring down these layers a little bit so we can start expanding the scene out. So what you're going to do from here is you're going to grab the elliptical marquee tool. It works on any one, but I'm just doing it for this because it's a square image. I'm going to go into here. Do generate fill like last time. I'll link that video down below too so you guys can see that when I go maybe a little bit more in depth with it for this portion of it. But I'm just going to speed up everything after this one. Once you get those done, you should get multiple layers. For me, I'm going to select all of them really quick. Go to my selection tool and do control T. And I'm just going to kind of expand this up just a little bit because the edges were kind of pushing off. So from here, I'm going to do the, the rectangular marquee tool again. And I just want one big building back here. Oops. What you're going to do is you're going to select one big area. You can have all of them selected. You don't need all of them selected. I'm going to select one big area and I'm going to type in skyscraper. I'm going to speed it up when it goes to generate too. first one's pretty good that I just got, not going to lie. I like this one a little bit better. Now we're going to go to the other side, and we're going to make another one. I'm going to press generate. Got a pretty nice one off the rip again. If I use this one, I'm going to do it again and generate another one. And once you get what you want, I'm just going to probably say this is good just for the sake of the tutorial. What you're going to do is you're going to go up here. You're going to go to Save As. I'm going to name this one Tutorial. You're going to save your Photoshop file to a folder that you can remember. You're going to do that, and you're going to close out of Photoshop. Let me do this. You're going to close out of Photoshop. Open After Effects. Start this off by going into New Composition from Footage. Go into your Quick Access if you want to. And when you open it up, when you open up your Photoshop file, keep it at Retain layer sizes and editable 
layer styles. Click OK. And you'll get one pre-composition. You can open it up and turn off all of these. Turn them back on. You have access to the car and the person. You have access to all the skyscrapers as individual layers so you can put stuff behind them. You have a lot to work with. What I suggest to do is maybe grabbing a skyscraper. I'm just going to do one for the sake of the tutorial. Go into here and just cut it out a little bit more formally. Boom. Maybe drag this above just a little bit. Right there. There. And then you get a way smoother looking one. But what you can do from here is like, I don't know, kind of go in. You can start adding different things. I would add an adjustment layer, right click it. This. You can do a Lumetri color. Go into creative, saturation. Go into basic, bring up the contrast a little bit, add another adjustment layer, add a transform, the position, turn this off, scale, go in a little bit. Have it zoom in. Have it zoom back out. You know? And since you have these different layers, like, all set up like this, what you're going to do is I suggest taking this one and dragging it above all these layers so it'll be above everything. Now, once you have everything set up, since it's a motion cover, you're probably going to want... A name or something on it so I'm gonna add a text in do artist name I'm gonna highlight this we're gonna drag it underneath the zoom layer start getting this nice little zoom in there let's drag it over a little bit you're gonna bring it back to the first frame while we have our text highlighted we're going to get a rectangle mask. We're going to go into where we want it to stop and keyframe mask path and go back to the beginning of it and drag this all the way back. Play it through. Should have something like this. Now, our camera movement is kind of repetitive so we're gonna go into our camera layer or the transform layer we're gonna press U and we're gonna take the second keyframe in do control Z or control C control V and go to this and go to the second keyframe in or the first keyframe it doesn't really matter control C and go to the very end and do control V. Now you should have something like this. Take the middle keyframes, highlight them, and press F9. Should give you this very smooth look. Obviously you can mess with it. Might be a little too jolting for you, but I just am doing this for the sake of the tutorial. So after you get your text and everything set up, as you can see here, we want to add in a little bit more. So what you're going to do is highlight all of your clips, right click it, and do pre-composition. So click move all attributes, 
go down into your transform hold down alt or option on Mac uh, uh, alt on PC and press position what you're gonna do from here is you're gonna type in wiggle bracket and then I'm just gonna show you guys the drastic seven 40. As you can see here, it'll start wiggling your screen. It'll start giving it more of like a shake that actually kind of goes on throughout the whole, whole video. So what I'm going to do to fix this though, is I'm going to take scale and just move it up ever so slightly. And you'll get this really cool look with a shake, the name parallaxing a little bit everything kind of zooming in and out and this is just a really cool way to get some really simple effective and nice cover art hope you guys learned something today i'm gonna to keep coming out with these until i hit 30 days my website my youtube and my tiktok will be down in the description below you guys have a great rest of your day i'm out